What's up salespeople? In this video, I'm gonna show you guys my million dollar sales script. This is the same sales script that I've used to get over 100 paying clients. When you're talking to your prospect, you wanna start off strong with some small talk. Try to find things in common with this person and make connections with them. If you can find something in common based on like geography, like maybe you guys live in the same city or have been to some of the same places, or you guys both know the same person, have a mutual friend, or maybe you guys have experienced some of the same life experiences as each other. This kind of stuff will make the prospect like you a lot more and it'll up your chances to make a sale at the end. In the next part, you kind of want to establish authority, you know, show that you're an expert in your field and you know what you're doing. And then up front, we want to eliminate a couple objections. The first one is I need to think about it right here. To, it would explain to you how to pre-address that objection so that it doesn't come up later in the call. Another objection would be the I need to speak with my partner objection. And it shows you here how to eliminate that up front so that it doesn't come up later. And then in stage two, you kind of want to go into like doctor mode where you start diagnosing their problems, figuring out their pain points, where they want to go, where they want to be, what their goals are. This section addresses some of the questions that you could ask them to help diagnose different problems and figure out where they want to go. And then in stage three, you want to establish what heaven would look like for them in their business. Maybe you try to figure out what the perfect year revenue wise would look like in their business or how many new clients they would prefer to take on this year. Stuff like that will help you get a good idea of how to best pitch your offer. In stage four, you want to bridge the gap between the problems that they're facing in their business and where they wanna to get to and kind of reiterate and focus on that. In stage five, you wanna qualify them and actually have them sell you. You wanna tell them that you only take a certain type of client, you only want the clients that are gonna take the software and do amazing things with it and really use it to grow their business. And you're not just looking for every business under the sun to sign up with your software, although you actually are. But this part uses reverse psychology. It'll force them to tell you why they are a great candidate for your software rather than vice versa. In stage six, you're gonna present the offer based on all the information you know on this client. You will now know what parts of the software to hit on. You really don't even have to pitch all the different aspects of the software. You only need to show them the ones that they care about based on the things that they've told you so far. And then at the very end, you want to finally talk about pricing. You don't want to mention it before the sale or early on in the sale. You want to wait till the very end. This builds suspense. The person will subconsciously in their mind be wondering what the price is. So when I sell my clients, I use something called a fast action discount where originally I'll tell them a price that's marked up 50%. So normally I just charge $197 a month for my lowest software tier, but I'll tell them that I normally charge $297 a month for it. So this is the script right here that I use. I say awesome, so the investment in the software is $300 for the account setup fee. That's one thing that I do charge every time. I always charge a $300 setup fee. It allows me to bring in a little bit more cash up front, and it does take a little bit of time to set up their account, so I don't feel bad charging that. So the software is $300 for the account setup fee, and then just $297 a month after that. But what I'm happy to do for you is I can tell this is something you truly want, and I can see your business completely changing for the better. So I'm happy to provide you with a discount if you sign up today. Uh, we can take $100 a month from the monthly subscription price so that it's only $197 a month instead of $297 a month. This puts a price anchor in the person's head where they think the price is $297 and now that I've brought it down to $197 a month, they think it's an amazing deal. It's $100 cheaper. It's a very fair price for the product that I've shown them in the pitch. About 50% of the people I talk to will say yes at this point and we'll continue. I'll get their payment information and I'll set up their account right then and there. But the other 50% of people always say I need to think about it or I need to talk to somebody even after we've addressed a lot of those things at the beginning. I really don't like to be pushy in my sales. So I say, okay, let's schedule another appointment. I'll give you some time to sleep on it and think about it. Let's set up another call at this this day at this time. And I make sure to reschedule the second call on that first call to make sure that that person knows and that they will show up to that next call where hopefully they've made up their mind and they want to go through on the software. Just remember when you're on these sales calls with people to be yourself. Do not read off of a script. Be as human as possible. Show them that you're a real person. Instead of talking about all the little technical parts of the software, just talk about how the software will benefit them in their business. And that's going to give you the best shot at getting that client. I also dropped the link to my sales script down below this video. You guys can go and download it and start using it to bring in a ton of clients.